Hello again, this is Paul Campbell, Lexington's Green Thumb Realtor, exploring the, our third post today on how to actually make sure the soil is ready to propagate seeds without them damping off and dying. So I, <coughs> previous video, I actually showed how what soil I used, how to dampen it. <coughs> that was video two on propagation, if you want to go back and look at that. And you know what I want to make sure I do in this video is you understand how damp the soil needs to be. If you drop the soil from about a foot 16 inches you want it to barely break apart a little bit. See how that's breaking apart just a little bit? Not not just totally scattering apart. You can once you've done this 30 years like I have you can pretty much tell by the feel of it but if you just swad some up in your fist and drop it from about 16 inches if it it'll flake off a little bit. You see how it flaked off there like that? When you do that you know that it's just about ready to plant. Now if you get it so that it is too dry it won't even hold together at all then you know it's not wet enough. If you get it too wet you can let it dry out a little bit of course before you put it in your trays. Now if you can put it in your trays it's a really good idea to fill that transplanting tray tray right up to the top because it's going to settle a little bit. So put your tray in, fill it to the very top. I'm going to fill this to the very top and then we'll talk about in our fourth post how to actually make sure you plant the seeds correctly. You have a great evening. I'll see you later. Bye.